Alright, so back to this. This is the fourth I guess, game review, quote unquote, right? I, I made the video playlist that, but these are more kind of thoughts and opinions uh, type videos, right? But the fourth one, this one will probably be a short one because the longest one was definitely the Haiti <laughs> streamer overload one. I mean, that was what inspired me to make the series. And the one I really wanted to do it on, but I'm just going to do it for all of them, right? Again, wish I had done these right after I'd played them, but, you know, what can you say, right? <coughs> so there's that, so, as in the title, right, you know, next game I'm covering is uh, Shudden. Uh, I played it around, I think, March-ish. I'm going in chronological order for the games I played. Yeah, actually, no, because I remember I played it during spring break. I, I do remember that. Um... I don't remember how much it cost. Maybe it didn't even cost anything. I don't know. I think it was cheap. It was like five bucks. Um, how I got into it, I think, I don't even remember. You know, I don't remember who I just saw someone play it. So, you know, figured, okay, you know, five bucks, right? Might as well play it. Um, in the end, you know, that was that. I, I don't know how old the game actually is, though. Um, I, I don't know when it came out, but it wasn't new by the time I played it. Like, it had already been out. So, not like, unlike Media Streamer Overload, where I got it, it was like maybe a week after it came out. So, but anyway, that's besides the point. So, this is for the game itself, right? It's actually a pretty interesting game. I'd say it's like a horror adventure type game, is a way to put it. Um, Basically, as the title implies, right, you know, you're playing as like a shut -in. Um, in there, just in their room. Literally, you're playing as a dude in their room, right? And then what ends up happening is, you know, you basically just need to get out, right? Leave. And again, you know, it's part, you know, acquiring the motivation to do such things, right? When you're playing the game. But then also, and you'll notice when you step out of the room, right, you know, things like aren't normal, and that's where the horror adventure aspect comes in. It's very much, you know, uh, I don't want to, what's, it's not called Eldritch, but it's very much, you know, a, uh, I don't, not even paranormal. It is a, you know, again, uh, what would you call it, like, sort of unreal? I don't want to say unreal, but... Again, almost like delusional, you know, hysteric, like hysterial, like kind of experience, I guess is a way to put it. You know, it's like, again, you know, and then the things you do, again, to actually leave, right? Because like puzzle, you know, well, I guess, yeah, puzzle's better. Why did I say like, it's like puzzle, adventure, horror, you know, it's very much like, a, what, what, what's the term? There's, I don't remember what it's called, but it's very much like, uh, yeah, I guess, you know, hysterical and delusional is a good way to put it, right? Like, it's it's kind of how I imagine, what would you call it, like, schizophrenics, like, live in, right? But basically, you know, you go through basically bit by pit, you know, little by little trying to, like, leave and make progress and basically making it from your room to actually exit the house, right? You know, and you do all these things, right? Um, and then again, it's something to where it's like, yeah, uh, you die along the way a lot, quite a lot. Um, I think it, there's like a death counter. I don't exactly remember how much I got, but yeah, pretty much it's very easy. But yeah, it's very much like, I, I don't even want to say delusional and hysterical because it seems like you actually do die. It's very much like, I guess, I don't want to say Eldritch Ian. I don't know, maybe, but... <coughs> You know, things happen that don't logically make sense, you know, just, it's like you just roll with it because you're just focused on getting out, right? And it's like, that's pretty much what is the, the gist of it. Just so much random crap happens that it's like, it's actually pretty insane. And what it comes down to is pretty much so you play through, right? Again, it's like puzzles. So you got to figure out like, okay, how do you make progress? How do you get out? Like stuff like that, you know, do all this stuff. Um, you know, and it's something to where it's like, in the end, you do actually make it out, I believe, or it just resets the game, right? Um, but there's stuff you can do along the way, certain, like, side quests, very similar, like, well, not similar to Papers, Please, or Mystery, because they're very different games, but there's, like, actual side quests you can do in, like, 
doing stuff like around the house the more you discover in it right to just do things and then that way you know I, I believe like when you actually finish it it lists like how much stuff you've done and it also comes in like steam achieves too um and it's like I actually believe I ended up doing most of them the one thing I didn't do was the plant thing because I let it die um if you play you'll know what that understand what that means right but again it's like pretty much it's a very simple fairly simple concept you know just I guess expanded on in the form of that game right because obviously and this is kind of more of a meta commentary like the whole like point you know shut in right is kind of you know despite what you play through in the game you know the puzzle adventure horror right like sort of like aspects of the game right um it's ultimately about you know just living a shut in life right you know and then dealing with the impacts of that because i don't know if the game came out during covid or if it was like you know kind of that is what inspired uh its creation if not you know just feeling that way before because it was certainly an issue before i mean y you see it i mean I'm, i've made how many more videos so it's like but certainly it was an issue you know prior to um you know covid it's just obviously that exacerbated things right because you've got now an external force in, as opposed to just internal, but besides the point. But again, deals with that feeling of, like, you know, being a shun, like, dealing with, like, you know, the, de like, depression, right, if that's involved, uh, or just, you know, anxiety, or just feelings of not being enough, or doing enough, like, being worth, right, in order to actually, you know, then do things, right, you know, uh, I can't really relate to that. I don't think I've ever been in a position where I felt such a way. Um, I'm also not a normal person, though. I, yeah, very not normal, but very abnormal if you, if you know about, like, me and my life. But, again, it's something to where, again, that, you know, is really the basis. And just playing through the game, right, and dying over and over, and then just figuring out how to navigate the house in, like, that puzzle or adventure-style game again like even through all that you're still being reminded because every time you wake up in your bed right mm. and then you know the comfy bed right it says you know it's very comfy right you can just you could get started tomorrow right why start today when you can start tomorrow that's kind of the whole human basis right and then ultimately in the end you know you escape or break free from that right <clears throat> you know it's something to wear Again, I, I wish, really wish I made these videos, like, immediately after I played the games. Um, funny enough, this is off topic, Violet Evergarden released another thing, or at least on Netflix they did. It was another, what is it? It was another, like, you know, spinoff. I think it was out before, but it's now just on Netflix. I'll probably watch that and make a video on it at some point, but it's like, for this at least, you know, again, it's something to where you... you you get a good feel of that there and a good uh what would you call it um it, it was a good experience right i don't i think i put like i find enough i still think i put about 20 hours because i tried to do like everything and then i just again i didn't get the plant thing but i think i pretty much got an a everything else because it's also funny because there's some through playing it and going through the house you can actually like gather some clues about the guy right he'll figure some stuff out one i think one thing we figured out is that not necessarily divorced but that he had a like girlfriend i believe and that they're no longer together and that you know it's something to wear like because i think you discover like a package or like a bin of things from her right or that they had mm. and you also discover some stuff about his family but again it's been so long like i don't really it, it's something to wear i think it's worth it you know grand i wouldn't say i had as much fun playing that as opposed to like let's say the heat streamer overload is a big one but even like sally face too i had more fun playing sally face but again you know it, it was much more of a like somber you know like i guess like experience playing through it right you know you're much more focused figuring out okay how am i gonna make it through this and, and you're much more taken in the experience of okay you know i'm this dude trying to find like the motivation to get up out of bed and out into the world right I think it was definitely worth it. Um, funny enough, the next video I plan on making is probably going to be the only one where I said the game wasn't worth it. So, something where, you know, this one was, 
and this isn't just me saying every game's worth it because I've said that thus far, but it's like, again, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I think you'll too, and if you haven't played it, it's very much a good experience, I give it a shot, so, yep. Yeah. That's it for this one. See you in the next one.